everybody, and welcome to the Wolf Chase Toyota Insider on the Memphis Tiger Network. I'm Jeff Brywin alongside Natalie Poole as we wrap up the Tiger softball season for 2014 and a hard-fought loss, unfortunately, for you to start the conference tournament to, to USF. But what a way to bounce back. That was a team that got you down at South Florida two weeks ago, and, and you battled tooth and nail with them. We did. You know, the only thing that hurt us was we got behind pretty good early in the game. We got down five runs, and... You know, it was definitely a game that I had witnessed a couple of weeks before and it didn't get any better for mm -hmm. us. And so I was definitely concerned about that. We were facing their number one pitcher. And, um, and so it was nice to see us be able to fight back to be able to get rid of their number one pitcher. They had to bring in their number two. And uh, we came back 5-3, but it just wasn't enough to be able to beat them. In, in a single elimination tournament, there's really not a lot of air, margin for error in those games. There's really not. And, and you know, my hope was that we were going to go out and hopefully have an opportunity to score first or that it would be a, somewhat of a low-scoring game. And, um, you know, and we just gave up a little bit too much too early, and that's it. And so it was just it was a great fight, but it would have been nice to have a little bit better handle on the game from the start. Let's talk about the season overall and kind of give us your thoughts on, on the year. You know, I think that we definitely experienced some some tough losses. We lost a lot of really close ball games. Um, you know, in some ways that was discouraging, but also in some ways I definitely felt like, you know, we were in the fight. And, you know, and our young kids got a lot of experience this year. And I think that they'll come back with a better perspective next year. You know, we had a lot of all of our meetings um, have taken place at this point. And, and so for a lot of them, they felt like they could go back and look at times where they struggled and, you know, and were kind of questioning themselves and got into some slumps. And, and there's nothing that takes away experience. I mean, I, as a player myself, I played a lot my freshman year, and even though I struggled, I still got the opportunity. And so it made a huge difference as I moved forward through the next th three years of my career. And so I'm hoping the same for these young kids who just need to get some experience underneath their belt. Um, kind of have an idea of what it's going to take to be successful and what costs them along the way. First year for everyone, it's the brand new conference in the American. The American turned out really well. Four teams made the NCAA. That tells you how tough the conference was. It really is. And returning next year, that means that four of the teams from last year made it of the seven that we will have next year. So, you know, and by far everybody else is vying to get up in there also. And so it would be nice to have a you know, a conference where everybody has a shot at it. And so, you know, our hope is to be better than where we were this past year. And, you know, as we mature a little bit and continue to bring in better talent. And, and so it should definitely be, you know, a tough part of our season as I expect it to be. When you talk about the seven-team league next year for softball, and you mentioned you'll still have four teams because you'll lose one of the NCAA teams leaving, but then you get Tulsa back into the league. You're also going to add East Carolina, who was always a tough team to play in Conference USA. So it's going to be uh, only seven teams, and it's going to be very concentrated as far as the talent level. Absolutely. I mean, at this point, you know, when we left Conference USA, East Carolina made a coaching change, and I expect the current coach that's there to put together a great squad and um, UConn struggled this year and you know I'm sure they'll be working to improve and then of course you know Tulsa right now is playing in the postseason along with Central Florida, South Florida and Houston so um, it'll it'll definitely be a great conference to be a part of. I'm happy to be a part of it and I just want to make sure that we're competing also and get that shot at a postseason. All right what do you do now? How much time do you, do you kind of take off kind of breathe a little bit and then get back into the offseason uh, type workouts? Well, you know, I, I just walked out of my office planning the entire summer, so which begins now. And so, you know, our focus is to get out and see as many games as possible. You know, we're, we're, we're caught up on our 14s, our 15s, and even, you know, our 16 and 17. We've got a couple kids, um, you know, committed. And so for us, it's just filling a couple holes, maybe find an additional person or two for a roster spot and then just being visible and just watching and watching so that we make good evaluations about who we think can fit into our program. For our athletes who are currently with us, they go home, hopefully they rest a little bit, get their mind off of softball for a minute, and then you know give themselves a couple weeks and then they need to go at it again. For me, I feel like their preparation for next year begins now. You know, they won't feel the pressure again until February. Everything feels good over the summer. Everything feels good over the fall. They get equal playing time. And so to prepare for February, they've got to begin over the summer. 
tell me what's going on in the softball complex this summer uh, as far as camps. I know you can find that information specifically. It will be on GoTigersGo.com on your softball page, but uh, kind of an overview. What, what do you have going on? We have one summer camp that we hold, and it's uh, June the 8th through the 11th if you're an overnighter. And if you're a commuter, then it'll be the 9th through the 11th, which is a Monday through a Wednesday. Mm-hmm. Um, it's a great opportunity to work on development of all skills and get a chance to work with some of our players as well as our coaching staff. Um, Then after that, we'll kind of take a break because we spend so much time off campus. And then back in August, we'll start up our once a month camps, August through December. And that way we have opportunities to bring people on campus, do some, you know, some skill development on a smaller scale. And um, they've been real productive for us. And I think for those who have come and taken the time to be a part of them. What do you look forward? I know it's a it's a, a long way out. It's a it's a year away. But w- what do you kind of look for early on out of the the twenty fifteen Tigers? You know, I, I look for you know kids who have a good fighting spirit about them, a good perspective about what it's going to take. I think that it opened their eyes to what it's going to take to be successful in the American. You know, to get a better handle on the season from the start, mm-hmm. uh, to try to win those games that were really close. Um, I think, you know, they all, you know, we have a very young class and a big freshman class and we had a very young team on the field the entire year. And so for them, I think that they come back and they have a lot of good things to share to newcomers in how to handle some of the adversity that you're going to face, the length of the season, injuries and all of that. All right. Well, Coach, thanks as always, and we will catch up with you, I'm sure, sometime this fall. Thank you. That is Head Coach Natalie Poole. I'm Jeff Brightwell. This has been the Wolf Chase Toyota Insider on the Memphis Tiger Network.